Hi everybody, one more time. My name is Alex Centeno with Mercados Interactive Partners located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. And today we're going to be talking about an interesting thing that uh, most people don't know how to use in Photoshop. But uh, it can be a little bit handy, especially for those people that have to do a lot of print stuff and especially business cards and things that uh, have some replacement of text. So um, what we're going to be taking a look at today is using data sets and data sets allow you to enter uh, some information in the form of a comma separated text and um, and Photoshop can use that as the input so that it takes care of all the changing of the text for you for you so then you have to do it manually one um, after the other after the other after the other so that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So today we're saving some time, hopefully, uh, by not having to do that over and over again. Um, so hopefully also the uh, tutorial is going to be pretty short. So before we begin, let's take a look at our sponsor for today. Mercados is a strategic web studio located in the Research Triangle area in North Carolina. Our focus is to help businesses of all sizes make more money through the use of a strategic website design, custom digital media development, and web marketing. For more information, you can contact us at 888-525-8117 or visit us on the web at mercados.com. Mercados, creatively smart. All right, so here we are. And um, I have a mock-up of a business card, as you can see, Mr. Fast Foods Incorporated. And uh, I have the name of John Doe Jr. And he is the executive assistant. And I have designed this business card as it is. And of course, this is not the only business card that they're going to do. Mr. Fast Foods, they have several employees. And so I actually would have to come in here and change um, this for each one of their employees so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to my data sets and I'm gonna take a look at this file that I created here and as you can see um, basically what this file is it's a txt file so it's a regular text file um, I'm opening it in sublime text but uh, you can use any uh, text editor that you want and in the first line I actually have uh, the first variable followed by a comma space and, and then the name of my second variable and um, so I have name and then title and then in each line after that what I have is the name of the person and the title of the person and those are in a separate line each one and uh, then that's the end of the of the text file so let's go ahead and close that and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to image and variables and I'm going to hit define. All right. And so here in the define um, variables pane, what you can see is that I have all my different layers that I have in my document. So I have executive assistant, John Doe Jr. So the different layers, I have several layers here that represent the the other stuff that I have in there and then I have the phone numbers and uh, finally the graphic there layer number zero and then that's it so that's my uh, document right there and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define which ones are the ones that are gonna change and as you can see the ones that are going to be changing are going to have an asterisk next to them so you might actually not have any that have an asterisk before you begin uh, the reason I do is because I actually have them here already done so let me just go ahead and remove them so that I teach you how to do it so the first thing is the name so John Doe Jr. is going to be replaced by the name so I would click here where it says text replacement and I'm gonna say that the name of the variable is going to be name and uh, the name of the variable has to be the same as the name of the variable that I have in my txt file of course uh, let's go ahead and do also the executive assistant he is going to be replaced by the title right so John Doe name and then executive assistant hit OK or next 
and um, what I can do here by hitting next is that I can import the actual file that I created which is the abc.txt file so hit open I'm gonna leave it automatic and then I'm gonna use the first column for data set names because I set them as variables at the very in the very first line I'm gonna hit OK and that's pretty much it then I'm gonna hit OK and uh, as you can see nothing happened so far uh, so what I want to do is create separate files separate PSD files for each one of the business card uh, business cards so that um, then I can revise them and, and print them and whatnot so um, so I would go to file export data sets as files and um, here what I can do is actually let me go ahead and save this file and so I'm gonna save it as data set example um, actually let, let me just do business card example that would be a little bit better and hit save and so that's that and now I'm gonna go to file export data sets as files and um, I'm gonna leave it as document name then the underscore and then the data set name and that's pretty much it then PSD at the end and hit OK and as you can see well you might not be able to see this in the recording but it went ahead and did the whole thing really fast and so if I go now to my data sets folder I can see that I have the different uh, files that I can open and each one of the files has the replacement text that uh, I needed without having to do that one at a time and you can see this one is Brian King which is the burger associate then I have the John Doe executive assistant and if I click in this one then I have Jeremy McDonald's executive chef and uh, I have uh, well that's the John Doe one and then let's see this one is the Wendy Smith uh, hamburger professional etc 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 so anyways so pretty simple process I'm gonna uh, show you here that basically I have nothing uh, really weird going on there so it's just text there a graphic there uh, so as you can see extremely easy to do it this way um, so just to summarize the process all you do is design it the way that you want it once you're ready to go then you create an ABC or uh, I called it ABC but you can call it whatever you want txt file and uh, you can do it with whatever you prefer so all you want to do is in the first line put the name of your variables separated by comma since in this case I have two variables then the first variable I'm calling name and the second variable I'm calling title and then in each line after that you're going to have name title name title name title all the values that you want once you do that then you can come to image variables uh, data sets and do the definition there also notice that now I have like the apply data set here that I can actually get this pane and with this I can click on the one that I want to apply to make changes at that time so that's that pretty cool let's say that for whatever reason they hire somebody else and um, uh, they asked me to do the business card for the extra person so let's go ahead and hire another person, which we're going to call John Doe 2. And he's going to be an executive assistant. Um, assistant of the assistant. All right, let's save that. And so I can immediately just come over here, image variables data sets um, I can go ahead and import my file and hit OK and easily I can just come here now to the apply data set John Doe 2 apply and as you can see it gets applied automatically without me having to um, change it word by word etc so 
I hope that this has been helpful. I try to do it extremely fast for you so that you don't complain about uh, uh, YouTube videos being too, too long, especially hours are usually more than 20 minutes. So this one should be a little bit less than that. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, I welcome all your comments down below in the YouTube comment box and uh, don't hesitate to, to uh, visit Mercados.com. 888-525-8117. Um, Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.